Hello guys, it's time for another new technique and uh, this one's also part of the toolkit and this is also why I haven't spoken about it before. Um, I went ahead and spent 15 minutes just to create an example. I didn't want to pull in a fully retouched image or something that I already worked on because I think that would be cheating. And I also think it doesn't make much sense for you to see, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, an image that's polished and finished because anyone can do that. Um, just, just a matter of time. So just quickly, a little bit of healing, a little bit of dodge and burn. And this is the new technique, so I don't get as much issues as before, which is good. Um, but there's still saturation issues that I need to take care of. And um, if I move this top layer out just for a second, you can see that here the luminosity is very similar. And here there's a gradient that goes in, but it's smooth. But then on the help layers for the saturation, you can see it's very uneven and same in the forehead. So there are saturation issues here. And uh, this new technique that I came up with is just about um, using the same um, methods that you learned from dodge and burn. So for example, you know, like you, when you paint a dodge mask with white. Uh, I do the same for saturate and desaturate to deal with this. Um, and uh, the help layers here are really useful. Um, but you should never just have them on and then do all the work. Because... It really depends on the luminosity, and right now you only see the saturation. So you have to judge it on top of the luminosity. And the only way to do that is to flip this on and off. And like I said, if you look at the forehead, it's similar luminosity. Here's a, a little similar, but it's a small gradient. And then and then I work with saturation uh, with the help layers off. And the masks are, uh, so the first desaturate, there wasn't many issues with the desaturate because it's um, mostly light then. And then uh, um, there was some issues where there was um, not enough saturation. So I just painted on the mask, same way you do in Dodge and Burn. And then I add another one because I was capping out. Uh, this is a thing you can that can happen when you Dodge and Burn as well. Then you need to add another layer because it, no, once you hit white, no matter how much more you paint, nothing's going to happen. So I just added another one. Um, Um, so yeah, um, if you look really close, maybe the video will be able to show you the difference. I'm not so sure. I can see it very clearly on my ISO screen. And again, this took me just a few minutes. And if you fix the saturation before you start to tackle any other color issues or hue, um, you're going to get a much, much more natural retouch. So maybe maybe if I have the help layers on and toggle this on and off, it's uh, more apparent. But yeah. And same here. Just a few example areas.
And if you want to recreate the technique, because uh, nothing that I ever do is a secret, really. I just kept this um, uh, private for now, because uh, I want to release it along with the toolkit. Then you have for desaturate, uh, you add a selective color layer. And then you um, boost the reds by 50%. So as you all know, this one shows cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So always leave the black as it is. So opposite of uh, cyan is red. Um, opposite of magenta is green. Opposite of yellow is blue. So what you do when you go through all the channels is you, um, for desaturate, you add cyan, which means you're taking away red, away yellow, then you take away yellow. So that's one, that one is easy. And for greens, you add magenta because that's the opposite. Cyans, you take away. Blues, you add yellow. Magentas, you take away. And uh, you leave this untouched. Then you get a layer that will desaturate. Uh, now the interesting part here is for saturation, uh, for some unknown reason, is uh, not as strong when you do it in the selective color. So the match from 50% on desaturate to the match on 100% on selective color is pretty close. Uh, why this is, I don't know. It's uh, just the way Photoshop has been made. So anyway, you do the same with saturate, but in the opposite way. So for um, reds, you take away 100% cyan. For yellows, you push the yellows to 100%. For the greens, you take away 100% magenta, cyan, add 100%, blue, take away the yellow, magentas, add 100%, and you leave this on. So that's the basics of it. Yeah, that's all I want to say in this new one. And this is part of toolkit, but like I showed you, you can recreate it if you don't want to, to use the toolkit. I hope you like it. Enjoy and talk to you soon.